What's going on guys, welcome to this video. Now in today's video what we're going to be discussing is one quick tip that is going to allow you to maximise your potential in the squat and what that is, is it's a breathing cue. Now what you see a lot of people doing is, especially when wearing a belt, okay, they, they, they don't breathe properly. Okay, so one, they don't breathe in enough air and they breathe it in wrongly. So what I'm going to mean by this is, I'll show you from the side, so what most people do is, so say you've got your belt, your belt's around here, what they'll do is they'll breathe in, they'll go, and see what I mean? How my chest inhales, so again, and that is incorrect, that is not what we want to do. For many reasons, number one, if you're breathing in up here, then no air, your diaphragm isn't dropping, therefore you aren't getting the full stab uh, spine stabilisation benefits from um, the Fos Alpha manoeuvre, also, you're not maximising your efficiency of using the belt. And last but not least, if you're breathing up into your chest, then what's going to happen is that is going to make you feel very light heavy. It's going to be a lot of, because everything's stuck up here, it's going to bring a lot of blood to your head. You're going to feel really light headed and it's just not going to be any use. So what you want to do is you want your diaphragm to fully drop all the way down into your pelvic floor. So again, you want to go, instead of your chest going like that, you want to go, and you want the air to go all the way down and you want to breathe down almost into your belly button. And what that's going to allow you to do is, it's going to allow for maximum spine stabilization, which is the first and foremost. Two, it's going to allow you to brace your core hardest against the belt. Okay, so you're going to maximize your efficiency of using the belt. So, when you do that, you're going to get the most bang for your buck out of the belt. So you'll have better spine, spine stabilization, better use of your belt. You're going to be able to brace a lot harder. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow the rebound to be much more efficient and better. Okay, because what you see a lot of people doing is when they squat down into the hole, they're almost searching for the hole. They're not quite sure where it is. And instead of getting a rebound, they come down and then they almost stop and then they go back up. But if you brace correctly and breathe properly, you should come down and your natural stretch reflex should allow you to bounce back up. So instead of going down, 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 up, it'd be down, 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 up. See what I mean? So that is what the biggest tip I can give you with breathing is, again, don't breathe into your chest, drop the diaphragm, breathe down into your belly, it allows for what? Number one, maximum spine stabilization. Number two, allows you to brace the hardest. Number three, it will allow for most proper use of your belt. And number four, it will you will find your depth and get the proper stretch reflex without having to kind of search for it. Okay? So I hope this quick video is found informative, guys. It's going to be a surprise Friday upload. I don't know I'm uploading Fridays. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please show your support and like the video and comment down below. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Would you ever forget anything you know? Take a chance to